Just, just to, just to frame the mindset correctly, not just for you, Barry, but for everybody, whenever we sign up a deal, all we're doing there is creating an opportunity for a payday at some point in the future. It's not a guaranteed payday. Not all the deals go through, but obviously the more opportunities you get, the more deals you end up closing and getting paid on. So just go into it expecting some of them are going to drop out. You're going to do it with your darndest on all of them to get them all sold and as quickly as possible, obviously. But look, if, if they don't close for whatever reason, that's just part of the business. Like not all deals close. So don't, uh, you know, don't lose yeah, any we, sleep over that. We, we let everybody know when we're signing them up on, on a wholesale or an auction deal. We say, we say hey, we're going to try to sell it. There's no guarantees. It's like a stock option. You can exercise it or not exercise it. If we can't sell it, we simply don't exercise the option and, and it expires worthless. And then you can try something else. Yeah. That's what we tell yeah. them. That's, that's our disclaimer on the phone. And, and uh, so they understand going in that this is not a guaranteed sale. It's a guaranteed we're going to try to sell it for you. But, you know, you have a piece of shit house. You know, so, yeah. Sorry, excuse yeah. my French. <laughs> yeah. Now, the Go other on. thing I would just point out, and not just for you, Barry, but for everybody, and I have seen somebody post in the Facebook group recently about this. <laughs> we don't ever want to imply or say that we're performing some kind of real estate service for them. Okay, so whenever we're talking to the seller, we are talking about that transaction in terms of us buying that property from them. No matter what we're going to do with it after we buy it from them, we are buying the property from them. Okay, so you just said that you explain it to the seller, like we're going to do this stuff and try to find a buyer for you. Now you're getting into real estate agent territory for which you would need a license in every state you're operating. So just don't say you're doing a service for them and you stay out of that trouble. Does that make sense? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. The uh, requirements for a real estate license are if you want to perform real estate services for others. If you're doing it for yourself, you don't have to have a license. In other words, if you're a principal in the transaction and you are buying the property and it's your property, right? then you can, you can do those transactions. But if you are going around to a seller saying, hey, I'm gonna go find a buyer for you, now you sound like a real estate agent and you need a license for that because you're performing a real estate related service for another person. You can't say we have, because uh, I, I tell people we have a couple ways we can do this. Uh, one would be on terms and the other would be kind of like an option where uh, we look for a buyer and, uh, we look for a buyer, an investor, something like that, uh, a landlord, a, a rehabber to uh, purchase your property. And, you know, it's, it's an option that may or may not work. Yeah, but I, I think you're close, but the way you're phrasing it could get you into trouble. If some realtor got wind of this and got a stick up their butt and wanted to cause an issue. So you're not going out to find a buyer for them the way we explain it is, you know, in most deals, unless we're going to go ahead and close on the deal right away before we line up our buyer, if it's a terms deal or whatever, or a fix and flip, we're just going to tell them, look, I'm going to line up my buyer before I close. And that's it. Like you don't need to explain much. And you talk about the buyer in terms of being your buyer, not their buyer. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Right. I don't mean, to, I'm not trying to like criticize you or scold you or anything, but I think no, it's no, very right. important, yeah. very important That's... that we like be very clear with these sellers and, you know, partially because we don't want to sound like a realtor because, uh, you know, forgive me, but who likes dealing with realtors? I got a real chip on my shoulder about realtors. I apologize, everybody. But <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but also because, you know, I don't have a license, so I can't perform real estate services for others. So anyway, just no, want to that's... make that clear. That's good info. I appreciate that. I'll pass that on yep. to uh, to Daniel, my uh, acquisitionist as well, just because I think I, I told him how, to, how I'd say it. And, and uh, so I, I need to do a little bit of correction. Yeah. Okay. yeah, no, that's fine. Look, just takes a little massaging. You had everything right. It just, just make sure you're not crossing the line. That's all. Gotcha. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>